Hello everyone. So there's this amazing opportunity to move down to Canada this June, like June 2023, you can land in Canada to begin a new job. So this is a pathway to move down to Canada for work. And I think it's really amazing because on this pathway, you're exempt from LMIA, that is the Labor Market Impact Assessment, which is the number one reason it is difficult to move down to the Canada to take up a job because of the LMIA. And on this pathway, you're exempt from LMIA. So this job starts June 2023 and you can begin your process immediately and that is why i'm doing this video now so you can start the process you know getting a visa to canada could take a while depending on which country you're applying so it is best you start immediately so in this video i'm going to be showing you all the information that will help you move down to canada to start up a new job in june if you are just meeting my name is jackie and you're welcome to the channel do hit the subscribe button so you can always be seeing videos like this when i post them if your goal is to relocate take up a job abroad or go school abroad or just relocate to live abroad with your family then you're in the right place you're going to be seeing many videos on that right now i have so many videos on how to move to a lot of countries like the uk ireland um japan portugal australia canada so many countries so you can watch my videos existing videos on my channel right now to know your options and also turn on the post notification bell so every time i share a new video you would get notified and you can just click on it and watch the new video so if you want to migrate you can't rely on one video you need to like watch a lot of videos so you can have a lot of information that is going to help your process to be faster smoother and just to let you know you know the best options for you out there and if you've been here before thank you so much for coming back i hope you do find value on my channel if you do then hit the like button you know just to let me know you appreciate the content i share on here so give this video a thumbs up as a way of supporting me and if you want to talk to me privately about your plans then i have a one-on-one -on -one consultation you're going to find the link in the description box where you can click on that to book a session with me or you can send me an email my email address is going to be displayed on the screen or you send me a dm on instagram so there are three ways of reaching me either you click on the link in the description box to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation or you send me an email or a dm on instagram and then we will arrange that so right now i'm going to be showing you all the information you need about how to move down to canada this june so this is a pathway announced by the government of canada and i'm just going to be showing you the information on the website of the canadian government and then i'll be showing you more information that will facilitate your move down to canada this june so this is by the government of canada and they have here hiring an overnight camp counselor through the international mobility program right so let's just see details about this and how it works overnight camp counselors work at camps where the campers and camp counselors stay overnight for more than a weekend if then this is information for the employers right if you're hiring a seasonal overnight camp yes. counselor you're exempt from getting a labor market impact assessment, LMIA, under LMIA exemption code C20. You need to apply for an LMIA if your seasonal employee turns into a full year employee. So this is a seasonal work, right? And it's from June to September. But as you can see here, there is room for you to extend it to a full year employee. So you can go for the seasonal work and then, you know, stay longer than the time required for this, which is June to September. If you're hiring a day camp counselor, you generally need to apply for an LMIA. So they can hire a night, you know, an overnight counselor or a day counselor. The overnight counselor does not require LMIA, but if it's a day counselor, LMIA will be required. So to be eligible to hire a seasonal overnight counselor, the offer of employment must be for seasonal employment, usually from June to September. The occupation camp counselor or a similar job title, NOC 5254. It's a link. You can click that to see more job titles under this. And then a, re a residential camp, overnight camp that lasts 
more than one weekend. And this comes usually happen during the summer break. Okay. Then what next does the employee have to do? I'm just showing you this so you can know what happens behind the scenes, you know, what it entails to hire you from overseas, right? So this is for the employer. Pay your fees and submit an offer of employment. To hire an overnight camp counselor, you will need to pay the employer compliance fee and make a job offer in the employer portal. Now, this is for employer, not for the candidates, right? If the worker is exempt from paying the work permit processing fee, you also be exempt from paying the employer compliance fee. Then there is employer compliance. You know, there, there's information for all these things. So let's see this. Follow the instructions for hiring through the International Mobility Program. So let's see that. Hire a worker through an hire a worker without an LMIA. How to hire a temporary worker. Okay, so this is it. They they, they say there's info about the process, how to hire. After you hire employer inspections and all. So let's just see a summary of what goes on behind the scenes. So the employer needs to submit an offer of employment. In most cases, to hire a temporary worker through the International Mobility Program, you must pay the employer compliance fee of $230. This is for the employer, right? And then they'll create and submit an offer of employment form through the employer portal. So hire an, uh, an overnight camp counselor. You can hire an overnight camp counselor through the International Mobility Program and, you know, other info we saw on the other page. Now there are exemptions. You have open work permits, you know, and all. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get, you know, this job for camp counselor. So I'll show you about seven job openings right now. There are so many of them. I did my research and I saw that so many camps are hiring for this position. So I'm just going to show you some of them, right? So this is from Glassdoor. They're looking for a camp counselor. This is Camp Tana, right? And this is what they are looking for. So there's responsibilities before camp. And there is responsibilities during camp and all. So let me just read this so you have an idea of what this job is about. Works, you know, before the camp, right, you work with counselor in training, if assigned, to plan and create, acquire cabin costumes, name tags, decor, and activities. You will work directly with assigned weekly unit staff to plan a variety of activities. So before the camp, right, you're going to, you know, just basically do things that have to do with planning for the activities, you know, for the camp. And then during the camp, you are responsible, is responsible for the staff director and camp directors, lives with a group of same gender campers in a cabin with assigned counselor in training and provides daily supervision, yeah? Works as role model and mentor to counselor in training, provides feedback to this person and about this person, executes planned activities and costumes, acts as an active support to other staff when they are leading activities. Okay, so the um, salary is $325 to $400 per week. And the benefits is casual dress, discounted, or free food. Yeah. So that is for this one. Expected start date is this, the 5th of June of 2023. So this job starts on the 5th of June 2023. And it's open for you to apply right now. So you can apply on Glassdoor by clicking here. I'm going to share all these links, you know, in my Telegram group. So if you don't want to, type this in because this is the link right here you can just type this in but i'll share the link in my telegram group to make it easy for you okay let's see another one i, I did say i was going to show you quite a number of them this one is from linkedin camp recreation counselor as you can see they are in canada british columbia canada the previous one canada right okay so this is it 
And for this one, they have, um, they have, um, what is it? Uh, I think I saw accommodation somewhere. Okay, so these are the details. You can just go through them. And um, I want to show you some benefits. Summer camp will run 3rd July 2023 until 1st September 2023, Monday to Friday and all. So the start date is 18 June 2023. So the camp will open for on the 3rd of July, but this job starts on the 18th of June. Remember, you know, they have some preparations you need to do before camp starts and then the camp ends on the 1st of September and this job ends on the 2nd of September. But remember there is opportunity for you to extend this to a full year work or you can even get another job while in Canada. All right, and this is inclusion and accommodation, right? So accommodation, you know, we provided for this. Accommodations are available to all candidates identifying a need during all or any parts of the selection process. So if you let them know you need accommodation, then that will be provided, all right? Okay, so let's see another one. Camp Outlook Summer Staff, Canada. This is in Ontario. Yeah, so you can see all the details about this here. So you can explore this. You know, if this, if um, the information I've provided here sounds like something you even like to do, you can also explore full-time positions and move down to Canada. But of course, you know, take advantage of this seasonal visa. And then when you get to Canada, you now extend it to a full-time role. All right, so Camp Outlook starts with four weeks of staff training in May. And then the the camp proper, you know, is between June to August. So that is it. Your so you need to um let's see qualifications, curious and adventurous. You genuinely like learning from people and jumping into new challenges. You're a great communicator, you listen first, then share your knowledge, yeah? You're stoked on spending time outdoors. You're an outdoorsy person. You're available to work from May to August. Yeah. Bonus points if you have experience working with youth, have experience as an outdoor instructor or guide. Kind of like the smell of campfire in your hair. <laughs> okay. So this role really sounds like a fun one. You know, you're going to be having fun. Okay. This is another one camp counselor at Camp Weddell in Canada. This was just posted in, all these jobs were posted recently, yeah? So this is another one, the description is here. We are an English speaking camp that welcomes about 100 young people from six to 17 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So job description, specific responsibility. So you can just read all these you know, to know what is expected of you and what you also expect from the employer as well. So this is it. Salary is $2,000 to $2,300, depending on education and relevant experience. Yeah. So that's it. So the duration of employment for this is June 17 to August 18. And there's an email address here for you to email the employer. Send your your resume, your CV, and your cover letter to this email address to apply. So if I were you, I'll start this you know immediately so you can you know get to know the the preparation for this. Okay, another one. This is White Pine Camp Camp White Pine, and they need an international staff. So this one is from June twenty four to August. 17 and for this role they are looking at hiring someone on a working holiday visa and the working holiday visa is not open to every country right so there are select countries that qualify for the working holiday visa and these are the countries named here so if your country is not named if your country is named you know you can apply for this particular one at camp white pine but if your country is not named here, then look at the other ones I've shared and also search for other job openings for overnight camp counselors. So there are so many jobs online. Just do your research 
and you will find them. All right, I hope you found that valuable. If you did, do give this video a thumbs up and also share it with other people so they can take advantage of this pathway to Canada. I think this is really amazing. It's one of the easy ways to move down to Canada and you can do that like real quick. By June of this year, you should be in Canada to resume your new job. If you want to be seeing more videos like this, then do subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. And if you don't qualify for this pathway and you want to know other ways you can move down to Canada, then do watch this playlist right here to find out other ways you can move down to Canada. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jackie and I will see you in my next video.